In this tutorial, you will learn stylized motion blur effect. Let's get started. You can easily follow along by downloading the image link provided in the description below. Our first task is to carefully select and isolate the area of the image where we'll apply our magic touch. Make a selection around the eye. I am using elliptical marquee tool to make a selection. Remember, perfection often lies in the details. So, if you need to make adjustments to your selection, simply hold down the space bar without releasing the left mouse button. By doing this you can adjust the selection position. To add to the selection, ensure the Add to Selection option is selected. Next, subtract any additional selections using the Lasso tool with Subtract from Selection enabled. Once our selection is primed and ready, we'll duplicate it using a simple keyboard shortcut, Ctrl J or Command J for our Mac users. With our duplicated layer in focus, it's time to select the Smudge tool. But before we dive in, let's fine-tune its settings, ensuring the perfect balance of strength, size, and hardness for our desired effect. Make sure strength is set to 100%, and adjust the size and hardness settings. Here I am going for hardness to 0%, and I am using standard soft round brush. Customize the brush shape using the preview dots, and arrows for rotation. Ensure the duplicated layer is selected before proceeding, otherwise effect will work differently. Then reduce the background layer opacity, so that we see the duplicated portion clearly. Now comes the fun part. To create that mesmerizing motion blur, moving your cursor in fluid, wavy patterns until you achieve that perfect motion. Remember, it might take a few attempts to get it right. Even I had to practice a lot of times with different images. Fine. Next, remove any extra elements using the eraser tool. Bring the background image opacity back to 100%. Darken the background by creating a new empty layer filled with black. Go to Edit, Fill, then select the black from the drop-down menu. And set to Soft Light Blending Mode. Apply a black and white adjustment layer. And add the gradient map. Enable the clipping mask. This allows the effect apply only to the below layer. And play with different gradients. For now, I am going with this one. Now, we have to clear the extra pixels of eye, which we duplicated earlier. So apply the layer mask, then select the eraser tool, and clear the extra pixels. Enhance the overall look by adjusting the curves for contrast, what really helps in enhancing the look. Add the curves adjustments layer, and enable the clipping mask, and then adjust the curve. Let's update the gradient colors for a better effect. Grays 1 are not matching. Let's try in greens folder. Yeah, this looks better. Let's go ahead with this. To add realism, add shadows by converting all layers, including adjustment layers, into a smart object by right-clicking and select Convert to Smart Object. Then, duplicate the combined layer and select the below one and enable blending options by double clicking or right click and select blending options and choose color overlay set it to black and i am going for normal blending mode with 100 percent opacity now we have made whole effect into black use the free transform tool by going to edit and free transform and then select the warp tool by holding Ctrl or Command will help us adding new control points. Adjust it as needed. Fine, reduce the opacity. Adding realistic shadows gives the image a more three-dimensional appearance. You can further enhance the image by adding additional required elements. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Like, share, and subscribe to level up your Photoshop skills.